and action. Come on, you call out running? My granny could do better than you lot. She's been dead 20 years. Put some energy into it. Football's a simple game. You win the ball, you pass the ball, you score a goal. All else is embellishment. Back, give it back, one touch only. That was two. There. I'm here on the set of the film United, which is a new film from director James Strong about the 1950s Manchester United football team, which of course is, is one of the great stories of English football. The team was shadowed by great tragedy with the Munich air crash, which happened in 1958, which the film covers. It's a wonderful story. It stars David Tennant and Dougray Scott as Matt Busby and his trainer Jimmy Murphy. I'll be talking to him a bit later on about interpreting one of the great roles of English football and one of the great stories too. Matt Busby's babes were the first teenage superstars of British football. They were young and talented, with bro creamed hair and fresh-faced good looks. Then, in 1958, disaster struck. A flight from Munich with the entire team on board crashed on its third attempt to take off in snowy weather. Eight members of the Manchester United team were killed, along with three of the club's staff. Manager Matt Busby was left seriously injured, and so it was left initially to trainer Jimmy Murphy to bring the team back to life. Football's a simple game. You win the ball, you pass the ball, you score a goal. All else is embellishment. I think it's a brilliant script by Chris Chibnall and I think he's managed to, to get a, a good balance between the necessary dramatic form and also just telling the story. And I, the truth is, the story is so compelling in itself that you, you just need to, it, it just needs, it just, it's just begging to be told really. Jimmy was at the forefront of dealing with the tragedy, but football was, was his life, it was a passionate vocation throughout his life and, and uh, that's always attractive to find someone who has a real love and passion for what they do. Just casually as you do. That's proper class, that. That's a star. It, it's been beautifully designed, this thing. Whenever, whenever we turn up the changing rooms, we're just this extraordinary kind of creation of 1950s football. And to be entering that world, uh, even briefly, is very exciting. Must be a bit like being Doctor Who and travelling back in there time. There is a certain, there is a very, uh, there's an element of time travel, certainly. <laughs> City match on the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Ask him. Yeah. You won't ask him. Yeah. Oh, you weren't, were you? Please tell me that you weren't. Look, it's Molly. Oh, here he goes. Hiding behind a lass. She's a city supporter. She likes me to go with her. See, that's where you went wrong. The first question oh, you ask a girl is, are you a red or a blue? Exactly. He's right. You listen to this, Bobby. The king's a romance I do find playing field. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's like Casanova, yeah, in his own head. Yeah. <laughs> Am I standing out there for my own health? Come on, then. I know David. I've known David for a few years now, so um, one of the most exciting things, I think, has been seeing, seeing David in do something completely different, and I think... Often we didn't need to do a lot of work on David's characters, character stuff in Doctor Who because it was so firmly set. But with this, we started from the ground up to, to kind of create a new character and a new person. You feel a massive responsibility to, to make sure certain elements are right, just not just in the script, but in every single element, the production design, the casting, the costume, the, the makeup. And so you have to try and be as accurate as you can, really. He was warm and fatherly but at the same time, you know, he had a, a rod of iron as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, he was sort of an enigma in the sense that um, he kept his distance, but he was, I think by nature, a humanist and, you know, cared deeply about, you know, people. I think this story, I hope, appeals to all football fans. It's, it's a, of a time when maybe football was a little less tribal, a little less partisans, so there wasn't these sort of huge rivalries, and they were there, of course, and the fans were very passionate and supported their team, but this tragedy 
I think affected the whole of football. And the reaction of the whole football community to it was was one that everybody kind of came together to support the club and and help them through this the tragedy and stuff. So it's I think it's a f film for every football fan, not just fans of Man United. Cut there. Take cut there. Cut.